Right, hello. Higher four bay Lodgenicolus or the bottle palm. Just uh, repotted this. This is one that's lived in my currently in a conservatory. So I've had this palm since last year, probably summer last year. So I spent the, the summer months in the greenhouse. I overwintered it in my front room right by the window. So it's getting maximum light, quite close to the radiator to be fair. So I didn't mind a you know a bit of heat, and it seemed to actually sail for winter no problem whatsoever. Um, the only thing is, like with most palms, you know, they get a little bit dry, you get the the dry ends, which obviously I've just cut off to neaten up a bit. But in fairness, these fronds are old. There's three fronds. I mean, the bottle palm is not going to be a hugely leafy palm. You're lucky if it holds three or four, maybe five fronds if you're lucky. But um, that doesn't take away from the fact that it's a real good looking palm. My current favourite. So yeah, this was in a pot about a foot deep, and uh, I really potted it because it, this spear had been on since last year. And I noticed it's only starting to open, so that's either lack of water or lack of root space. So give it a good repot. The, the roots were circled around the bottom of the pot, and they hadn't quite managed to work way out of the pot, but they were certainly circled around, so they want want to go a bit deeper. I mean, this is a palm, it's a fairly dwarf palm compared to a lot. I mean, this will, this will do well in a pot for many years, and especially a pot this size now, that'll be okay for the next two or three years before I repot it. Obviously, I may just refresh the top layer. <clears throat> so, again, yeah, this spear emerged last year, and it's only just starting to open up, but now you can see it's starting to open. And that's definitely been repotted and had a good drink. That'll be the next couple of days, that'll be out. So that's a nice big spear there. And obviously we've got the second coming out there. So why is it called the bottle palm? Well, this hasn't quite bottled out yet. But if you're looking at the trunk, you can see there's a definite wide at the bottom and sort of tapers in. There'll come a point where this bottom section will explode out and then it'll really taper in. Give it the, the name bottle palm or common name bottle palm. So another distinguishing feature is I don't know how well it's picking up on camera but the stems to the petioles are really orange. So yeah, it gives a definite interest. Well, you can see this new one that's coming out is sort of, I don't know, a grey, purpley, orange. Fading to quite a nice orange. So yeah, gives it a bit of interest. I like the petioles, the, the fronds themselves, they're, you know, quite tropical looking. It is a crown shafted palm, so you don't want to be cutting these uh, old leaf bases off until they're fully rotted out. I did have one that I just pulled off, which had rotted enough so you could pull it easily and it came off. There's a, uh, give you an example, one this side, which is, you know, that soil level that will rot off eventually and you can just pull it off by hand, but I've just cut this one back a bit. And then, yeah, you definitely didn't want to pull them off because you could uh, definitely stunt or damage the, the palm. So you can see this is an old leaf base here which is obviously the fronds been cut off sort of died back to this point but it's still really green there so you, it's not like a banana where you can just peel it back and peel it back and no problem you, you leave that until it rots off but yeah I thought I'd do a video on that because uh, I've been doing a lot of palm videos over the last couple of days and uh, that's uh, kind of the finishing piece for now, so it's a 
bit of a spotlight video on a single species so maybe next year when I'm a bit more qualified to say how all these uh, other palms do through the winter I've got them through the first winter because they're small but um, this, this winter is going to be the bit of a tester because they're uh, obviously growing a bit and egg now we'll see we'll see what we can come up with to get them through yeah so there you go Higher four bay lodging the colas. I'm sort of pronouncing it right, I believe. Yeah, looking good. Alright, thanks for watching.